that is B. Identify the type of reaction represented by B. B is from here to here. So that's elimination method. Or oh, what are you removing? You are removing the, the water there. Therefore, it is the dehydration. So A is away. Then they are saying that B, B from here to here, from a, a, a halo alkane to an alcohol. So you are substituting. So it becomes substitution or hydrolysis. You can use hydrolysis. Why? Because uh, water must be there in that reaction. Write down two reaction conditions for B. When we talk about B, where is B? From this to this, what are the two? Because you are dehydrating, so whenever you talk about dehydration, you must have concentration of uric acid and then uh, some bit of heat. So heat is mm, sometimes you use concentration of uric acid or concentrated phosphoric acid. It could be sulfuric acid like that or phosphoric acid depends on what you wanted to write. Then they are saying that uh, the chemical formula of the catalyst um, are needed. What is the chemical formula? 3.4.2. Uh, Uh oh no man they're saying that write down the reaction oh two conditions you're done with that for reaction a for reaction a all right write down the name of inorganic reactant inorganic reactant in the moment you are forming alkene to uh, uh, uh alcohol you have to use h2o water must be pr present and then they're saying that uh catalyst Chemical formula of the catalyst. Chemical formula of the catalyst. Yes, it still is the same uh, acid which you can use because sometimes you call it acidified water. So you acidify the water there and then yes. They are saying that uh, reaction structure formula, write down the balanced chemical equation. Balanced chemical equation for the structure formula uh, of reaction C. When you come back here, you look at reaction C. Where is the reaction C from here to here? So it means that here, you just have to write, let me write here, you just have to write from here to here, you, um, they say C, they say from here to here. So this one is acting without, because they said it's in two, two bromoethene, meaning that, I'm going to have a bromine there and a bromine there and then a hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So meaning that I'm going to put, uh, uh, did I say bromo, not dibromo. So it means that what I'm going to use, I'm going to put a hydrogen here and then I'm going to hydrogen bromide. Yes. If it was dibromo then it would have been bromine only yes so basically you put hydrogen you put hydrogen you put hydrogen you put hydrogen that's what they are so, talking about we give you a mark there we give you a mark there we give you a mark there and then they're saying that chemical formula of the catalyst so we are done with that uh structure formula explain why no water is needed basically you don't add water so that you avoid you avoid uh, the formation of the alcohol or the hydroxyl group. That's why there is no water which is added in that uh, reaction. The moment you add water there, then it's going to form alcohol. Reaction E represents the conversion of alcohol into inorganic compound X. Okay. Formation of alcohol into an inorganic compound X. Reaction E. So it means that this E, because you have alcohol, you have a carboxylic acid, so E it becomes an ester. So how many? One, two, three. So it's three carbon atoms. Ne? Is it three? No, 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 no. It's one plus this. So it's four, five. So there are five carbon atoms. And then here is one, two. So it's going to be ethyl ne? propanoate because uh, five pentanoate if this, this compound is going to become ethyl pentanoate. Okay, let's go to the question and see what are they saying. 
the type of reaction is terrification. We know that. I talked about it even. The catalyst used sulfuric acid. I know I told you whenever I talk about esterification, it's sulfuric acid. Structural formula of compound X, you see? Even I saw uh, the IPAC name of compound X. Structural formula of compound X is the same thing here. Structural formula of compound X. Yeah, I said ESI, ESI, because this is one, two, it's ESI. And then this, um, one, this is three, so it's four plus one, it becomes five, uh, pentano weight, ESI or pentano weight. So you write the structural formula of which structural formula, they said structural formula. Ah, that's the alcohol, remember the alcohol gives us one oxygen, and then another oxygen comes, mm -mm. Uh, this one uh, comes from there, and then, sorry, they said structural formula. Yes, so you put the five carbons, one, two, three, four, five, and then you put the hydrogen throughout. So basically, that's what they wanted. Ether, uh, pentano weight. Then, uh, yes. I think uh, I'm done with that. I think common F takes place in presence of warm water. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, and then the concentrated sodium hydroxide, use the condensed structure formula, write down the balanced equation for the reaction. So in this case, what are they looking at? I think compound F. Compound F. Where is compound F? The same compound F with compound F. Yeah, compound F. Oh, reaction F. So, basically, what are they looking at? They are looking at, for you to write the balanced equation. The balanced equation, how are you going to write it? From here to here, meaning that it's just a reverse. So, in this case, you just add sodium hydroxide. Add sodium hydroxide, and then the bromine is going to replace. It's going to replace. Sorry, it's gonna not replace. It's gonna remove sodium bromide and then water from here, and then two hydrogens are being lost. This is what I'm saying. Ethyl brom. Ah, he said bromo ethane. Then you add the sodium hydroxide. Then you're gonna form this, which is ethane. Yes, plus what? Plus now, this is going to react with the bromine from sodium, sodium bromide. But what about this, this, this hydrogen? This hydrogen <clears throat> is going to react with another hydrogen here. So that now, the, from here, another hydrogen from here, so that it becomes 2-2. Two, two. So that you, you form this, so plus H2O. You get a mark, you get a mark, you get a mark, you get a mark. Something like that. So, that's what you're supposed to get from that reaction. Uh -huh. Then the next question. The next question, the next question. Um, question was 3.7. 3.7. Say that large straight chains, large straight chains, large straight chains alkane can be catalytically uh, cracked in to produce short chains. We call it cracking. Eh? Yes. Alkanes and then branch alkanes, okay, which are more suitable for use in petrol. The reaction below indicates the catalytic cracking of octane. Octane is eight. Eh? So meaning that when you do eight, so what happens? You break it into smaller pieces. So write down the epoch name of Y. What is Y? Now, I don't know. I don't know. But this was eight. Eight of them. But I have two of them. I've removed them. Then definitely this one is going to be hexane. Why am I saying hexane? Because it was eight. Ne? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I removed the two. So what I'm remaining with is going to be hexane. Remember all these are um, hydrocarbons. So it's going to be. So what is 
think I'm done with that. Briefly explain why short chain alkenes are branched and branched chain alkenes are more suitable for use in petrol than straight chain alkenes. Why? Why are they more suitable? They are more suitable uh, because short chain alken alkenes they have um, um, they are more suitable because they have a, a, a lower boiling point. So the intermolecular forces of attractions are are less. Therefore, they have a lower boiling point. Therefore, they are more flammable. They are flammable, so they are they can burn easily to produce energy. You understand? Yes, that's why we are, they are used like that. Oh, we are going to the next question. So it means that those people.